We are tracking the tropics tonight where we are watching the potential a system could form northeast of the Bahamas here in South Florida. Some areas could see some heavy rain in the next few days. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Craig, what's the latest? Yeah, the latest is there's nothing out there right now and that big red blob I'm going to show you in just a second. It looks scary, but it really only tells us where we think the center of this thing is going to form and that's east of us. Here's what's going on now. Clouds gradually increasing. That's in response to the atmosphere getting ready to develop a low pressure area and that low pressure area is going to develop and then probably track its way very close to South Florida. So we're going to see some stormy weather as the low moves by and forms, but then it's out here to the east somewhere in this general area here that a subtropical depression or a storm could form and then it would move on away to the northeast. Computer models show the fairly deep moisture to our south starts to move in, kind of consolidates here just to our east. We're on the edge of it though, so Friday could be rather stormy. And then there goes that subtropical development leftover tropical moisture hanging behind. So to sum it up, a subtropical system is expected to form near the Bahamas. We say subtropical because it's not a truly tropical meteorological feature, but uh, could have the effects of a tropical storm out at sea. Uh, it's late week development or the weekend over the near the Bahamas and no direct threat to Florida as it moves away. What we are expecting though is some pretty windy conditions, showers on the increase tomorrow, gusty downpours, could be some flooding Friday. The weekend looking like some improvement, more on that forecast coming up.